Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. So this is going to be your quick energy check-in reading. We're going to look into what your person is feeling and thinking. We're going to also see what energy they're bringing towards you in this retrograde season. So let's jump in and let's see what messages the universe has for you Sagittarius. When I was pre-shuffling for you guys, um, I sort of channeled the energy of someone crying, maybe um, being extremely sad talking to their friends about the situation you guys are going through, but not talking to you at all, okay? So this is someone who's pretending that they're okay, but they're not. So let's see what the universe has to say. Spirit, oh, okay, card just slid right out. So we have, I'm resisting my desire for you because it's too late now. I wasted too much time. This is what I was picking up on. I didn't see this card though, I don't think. Um, I saw a couple of other cards, but... Yeah, I sort of felt the energy of someone holding back, but talking to everyone else about what you guys are going through, talking to their family, to their friends, you know, getting advice, but still not reaching out to you. I don't know what good this person thinks that's going to do them, <laughs> but okay. All right, so let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? What is their person feeling and thinking? What can Sagittarius expect from their person during retrograde season? I'm afraid of being played and being taken advantage of by you. Please be careful with my heart. I chose the other person because they don't challenge me like you do. Every day, I wonder if I made the wrong choice. Wow. So someone may have walked away from you, chose someone over you, and now they're thinking about it. And they're like, wait. Do I really want to be with this other person or do I want to be with Sagittarius? And I feel like it, they may feel like it's too late because you're not reaching out. You're not saying anything. It's like you're staying quiet. I love the two of you for different reasons. It's been really difficult making a choice. We also have, I'm trying to sort out my feelings and make sense of it all. I'm feeling vindictive towards you. It's better we keep our distance. Yeah, I feel like this person is feeling vindictive towards you is because they want you to reach out. They want you to chase them or something and you're not doing it. It's like whatever behavior you were showing this person before in you guys' connection, you have totally switched up everything. And I feel like you did this, Sagittarius, because this person pulls away from you and you were like, okay, this is it. Like, I'm not dealing with this anymore. I feel like giving up. I can't seem to find a way to make us work. I'm emotionally burnt out. Why do I feel like some of you guys are dealing with uh, um, Scorpio? Scorpio reading was sort of similar to this. We have, I know I messed up and I have no idea how to fix it, but I'm desperate to get you back. I love you. I know I don't say it, but I do. It's hard for me to express my feelings. Let my actions show you. So I feel like somebody wants to come back and show you something, but they're dragging their feet. They're getting advice from people. And maybe the advice that they're getting is sort of confusing them. We have, I feel like my soul is connected to yours. Can you feel me too? You must be my soulmate. Yeah, I feel like definitely. Um, if some of you are dealing with the Scorpio, go and watch that reading because they got the same cards sort of in the same places. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? What is their partner feeling and thinking? What can they expect from them in this retrograde season? You left an indelible mark on my heart. I've been forever changed. I really miss you. I see you in everything. You're always with me. I had a change of heart. I'm going to follow my intuition. So yeah, this person had a change of heart. They could have walked away from you and now they want to come back. I'm so used to toxic relationships that I thought you were just another one. And let's get one more. I'm feeling frustrated with myself right now. I wish there was more I can do to fix us. Yeah, so this is what your person is feeling like right now, Sagittarius. So we're going to get some more cards. Just use a different deck here and see what other messages the universe has for you. And then we're going to jump into the Tarot. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? What is their person feeling and thinking? What can they expect from their person during retrograde season? Runner, avoiding the connection, running from themselves, and ignoring you. We have, I choose you. I'm sorry for taking so long to realize it's always been you. So either this person ran away 
and now they're running back towards you because this is the way I'm seeing this. But let's see what other cards come out here. Yep. Madly in love. Lost in love. Their world revolves around you. Hard to control themselves. I feel like someone expected some sort of different behavior out of you once they walked away from you. Okay. This person, it's like you're shocking this person. They're not used to the new you. And they don't like it. It's scaring them. We have sex. I'm not saying that sex is all I want, but I want your touch. So I feel like you stopped being like um, sexual with this person. Like whether it was text messages, you know, especially for those of you who are dealing with someone at a distance. Maybe you were sex texting this person all the time and you stopped. Um, maybe you stopped going over this person's house. You're no longer seeing them. They can't come over your house. You guys aren't speaking. It's something where this person is missing you and they're changing their mind, Sagittarius, about a decision that they made. Yep, look at your cards. Oh my goodness. We have worried. I'm worried that it might be too late to make things right between us. So this person feels like they've stayed away too long or they're dragging their feet on something. We have indestructible and everlasting love surviving it all. You will stay together. So the universe is saying you and this person are going to find a way to make this work. They could also be trapped in another situation that they're in. It says trapped in an unpleasant situation, feeling stuck, cannot escape from it. And we also have travel. So for some of you, this person does live at a distance. Um, I'm channeling the energy that this person is like, you don't know when you're ever going to see them or meet them in person. It's like maybe all you guys do is FaceTime or Zoom um, or something like that. But you haven't went to visit this person yet and they haven't come to see you yet. And it's something that's bothering you. We have romantic getaway, business and pleasure trip, long distance relationship. We have red flags. So I feel like for some of you, it's something that this person is hiding and not telling you. And the universe is saying, pay attention to the red flags. We have broken promises here. This is possibly what led to the breakup or um, you distancing yourself from this person. We have broken promises, misled, trust is broken. This person is unreliable, but sees you as a soulmate. And we also have miracles. I know you lost hope in us, but I'm going to surprise you. Yeah, this person may be married and maybe it's something they're not telling you. For those of you who know that your person is married, then this is not for you. But for those of you who don't and you're sort of like sort of asking yourself, like, what the hell is going on? Like, I can only talk to you at certain times. You know, at night you won't FaceTime me. I, you won't call me. You don't message me. It's like this person goes ghost at night or something. I feel like this person is married and they may be thinking about walking away from their person um, we have, I'm ending my long-term relationship to be with you and compromise. Let's find a way to compromise instead of giving up on us. This person may also feel Sagittarius that you're the right person, but you came along at the wrong time. We have bad timing, waiting for the right time. Patience is needed and not finished. There's still unfinished business. It's not over until I say it's over. So the way your person is seeing this is that they're not giving up on this situation and they definitely regret walking away from you. We have regret and heartbreak. I regret walking away. I wish I knew then what I know now and breakup, suffering and grieving, unable to move on. Yeah, I feel like they can't move on from you. They're just, like I said, talking to other people about what's going on with you guys. Um, this person sort of wants to change how things are in the connection between the two of you, but they're doing a lot of overthinking. They're not taking any action right now. We have overthinking. I'm driving myself crazy. Thoughts of you keep consuming me. I feel like all this person does sometimes, Sagittarius, is sit and think about you, but they don't do anything. They don't say anything. They don't send any messages. They don't call you. You're just... Um, I feel like you're taking up this person's um, heart and mental space like big time. And I feel like whoever they're talking to about you is like, oh my God, can you just call Sagittarius already? <laughs> or like text Sagittarius already, like get it over with. But I feel like this person is too stubborn to do it, but they feel like you guys are meant to be. We have can't move on. I can't move on no matter how hard I try and meant to be. So this is what you can expect from your person um doing retrograde season like their energy somebody is going to either be pushed i feel like the universe may push this person to sort of reach out to you like it's going to bring them out of their stubborn energy 
or their uh, prideful, egotistical energy that they're in. All right, so let's get some cards here. So what messages do you have for Sagittarius? These cards are so loud, guys. I'm sorry if this is so loud, shuffling these cards. Spirit, what messages do you have for Sagittarius? What is their person feeling and thinking? What can Sagittarius expect from their person during retrograde season? We have the Ten of Cups, the Eight of Swords, Mm, the Queen of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with another fire sign, such as yourself, and the Seven of Wands. This person is extremely guarded. Um, I feel like they're afraid to reach out to you for some reason. They go back and forth in their head, but you are this person's happiness, though. They can't deny it. They can't even stop thinking about you with the Eight of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with um, an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. We also have the world. So something may have ended and this person may be feeling like, oh my God, it's over, forget. Like Sagittarius don't want me back. I feel like whoever this is, they're stressing. Could be a Scorpio. Yep, but they have a lot of passion for you. So don't let them fool you. Do not let them fool you. They feel, however you're feeling about them, I feel like the feelings are mutual here, big time. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. So this person wants to work on this with you, but they may bury themselves and work just to sort of try to get you off their mind but it's not going to work ace of swords is here you have the ace of wands and the ace of swords at some point you and this person is coming back together okay the universe has spoken on it this person is going to come towards you with some truth and some clarity they're not going to be able to hold back they're not i feel like the universe is like okay i'm ready when you are whenever you're ready just let me know <laughs> because this person keeps trying to hold back their feelings we have the two of wands. So there is some decision that they need to make. Yep, look at that. They're trying to act like everything is fine, but they're hurting. They're sad. They feel depressed because you won't talk to them or you, you're not seeing something their way. And we have the tower. Double Scorpio here for you guys. Okay. Whatever happened between the two of you, I feel like both of you may feel like it's over, but the universe is saying something different here. Yep, the lovers. Twin flame energy, queen of pentacles. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Gemini or an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn, but there's a lot of love in this connection. And you guys are like thinking about what happened, the bad things. It's like you're not thinking about the love that's here. Nine of Pentacles, Three of Cups. This person wants to reunite with you. The Sun, some of you could be dealing with a Leo. They see you as a Nine of Pentacles. This person sees you as having everything, like not needing anything from them. They want to reunite with you with this Three of Cups, but this person may be wondering, like, what is it that I can do for Sagittarius? Because Sagittarius has everything. This person put you on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. Sure it is. If Scorpio come out one more time, <laughs> like listen guys y'all dealing with the scorpio not everybody of course but um i feel like this person is wanting to make some changes they know they have to i don't feel like they know how though because this person is so used to some sort of um either toxic behavior or just getting their way maybe whoever they were with before you just let a lot of shit happen and didn't do anything about it and i feel like you're putting your foot down with this person yeah, this person wants to hang on to you. Page of Wands, Four of Pentacles. Some of you could be dealing with a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. With the Four of Pentacles, this person could have some money issues. I swear a Scorpio reading was just like this. Um, This person could have some money issues, okay? But they're still wanting to hang on to you. And I feel like they could be hiding their money issues. Yeah, somebody is moving extremely slow and hiding a lot. They're hiding a lot. I feel like this person doesn't want you to know that they're not stable. They're not secure. There's not a lot of security in their life right now. And there could be some conflict and some drama with the five of wands because of it. And we have the devil. Some of you could be dealing with the Capricorn or this person is very addictive and obsessed with this connection that you guys are in. And whether you want to let them go or not, they don't see themselves letting you go. Look at what's at the bottom of the deck. The Ace of Cups. There's going to be a new beginning. Now, some of you may have someone new in your life or you may have a choice between more than one person and you're weighing your options with this Ace of Cups. 
Yeah, six of wands with the four of cups. You're over something. You're like, I'm over it. I'm tired of it. Uh, I feel like you could be a little bored with this connection because this person might have been taking you for granted with this four of cups energy. But with the six of wands, there is definitely victory and success coming your way. I feel like this person looks up to you. Some of you could be um, very in, like VIP, very important person, maybe on social media or it's like your status. Maybe you're a boss. Maybe you have your own business and a lot of people look up to you. And so th this like sort of, um, I don't want to say frightens your person, Sagittarius, but it causes them to, it causes them to feel, should I say less than, I don't know if I say less than, or like they have self-esteem issues. Yeah. It's, it causes their self-esteem issues to boil over because they know that, um, you have options and you can have anyone you want with that nine of pentacles. But you know, this person is like. Am I enough for Sagittarius? I think this person may be wondering if they're enough for you. So let's get one more. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups. We have the Hermit. Oh my goodness, the King of Swords. So some of you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. We have Virgo energy here also. And we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. All right, so one more. So give me one more for Sagittarius. One more. All right, I said one more, but Spirit gave me a couple. So we have the Page of Swords, we have the Fool, and the Chariot. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries or a Cancer. This person is watching you. Okay, younger air sign here for some of you, or a Aries or a Cancer is watching your page. They're watching you some kind of way. I feel like some of you may work with this person. I don't know why I'm picking that up. I don't see the Three of Pentacles here, but I'm picking up the energy that somebody may watch you get in your car i don't know what this is all about or maybe they maybe this person used to walk you out to your car if you deal with this person at work they used to maybe walk you out to your car and that has stopped like it's not happened anymore this is going to be a very specific uh, specific message for someone but they still watch you some type of way or maybe someone has a motorcycle that they drive to work yeah, this person wants a, a brand new beginning, a fresh new start with you. They're going to keep their eye on you, um, but I feel like they're going to drag their feet when it comes to communication. But the universe is going to push this person. They're not going to be able to continue to hold back from you, Sagittarius. So those are the messages that I have for your quick energy check-in. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.